Today is uh, July the 16th, 2012, and I'm going to uh, answer a question here, I hope, that has been asked of me several times that's kind of interesting and, and, and a simple solution. And maybe it's so simple that it, it, that it escapes us. This is a, um, a standard BNC Terminator. They come in generally 50 ohm and 75 ohm. And what we need in uh, using the uh, audio test equipment, like I have right here, I always terminate my uh, output, which is the input to the device that I'm working on with a 600 ohm load. That allows the, um, the device to in a calibrated mode, deliver the correct voltage. So anyway, to make a, a 600 ohm terminator, you use a standard BNC connector terminator. And this one right here, you can see, uh, hopefully it'll focus, you can see by, even by the colors, that there's a 7 there. This is a 75 ohm terminator. What I do is I simply remove the 75 ohm resistor from it by I'm going to do two things. I'm going to save this one. I'm not going to go through, this, through the whole process but what I'm going to do is ultimately just simply unsolder and remove this resistor by taking the Mail connector off there, heating the, the back side of it. Hopefully, not burning myself too bad in this process. And after removing this resistor, well, I will remove the resistor. And then, what I'm going to do is I have a pack of a 620 ohm resistors. I'm going to hand select the one I want and simply replace it. And I'll end up with, instead of this 75 ohm resistor in there and the, uh, the little tip, I'll end up with a 600 ohm. That's all it is. That's the only difference. It's so simple that uh, I think it escapes us sometimes. I'll, uh, I'll replace it and then we'll measure it. Yeah, I have removed this 75 ohm terminator. I have selected a, uh, a 600 ohm replacement for it and I'm going to, you gotta be kind of careful with the, with, with the mechanical differences here and, and make sure that, you know, things work out similar. And then uh, we'll uh, reconstruct it by removing this one and putting this one in there. I've uh, <clears throat> added the, uh, the tip here to the 620 ohm resistor. I'm going to touch this up right here so that it fits nicely and then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll complete the project. We complete the project here by touching up the, the bits and pieces with a, a file, inserting it back into the, uh, so that, yep, there it is, right there, I can feel it with my thumb, and screwing the back part on, so that it uh, actually fits through this hole right here, and I can feel it right there, and I'm going to solder that, and we have a complete, a 600 ohm terminator. Okay, we've completed our project here. We have our 600 ohm resistor in there, and we snap it on to our fancy dandy meter, and we have 612 ohms. 612 ohms, okay, let's do the math. 612 ohms. 6, 12, enter, 600, divide. It's, it's within 2%, 1.02. And 2% is good enough. There you go. Last step, uh, label it. 
so that, so that you know it's not a 50 or 75 ohm resistor terminator and you don't have to go into eBay and pay anybody any kind of strange and extravagant money for a 600 ohm terminator because you got one right there that you made from a uh, 25 cent 50 or 75 ohm BNC terminator. Hope this helps.